Hello, Facebook and YouTube on how Hugh weighs a teardrop trailer. I'm going to go ahead and do the, uh, the single bathroom scale using algebra method to uh, get the real close ballpark on what my trailer weighs now. has the battery, the solar in it now, has everything but a couple of doors in it, has all the inside is mostly done. Uh, the outside is getting close to done, and I want to see where we're at. I'm thinking it's... Uh, Real close to 800, maybe 825 pounds <clears throat> right now. The battery's heavy. And this time I'm going to do a little different. I'm going to weigh one side with the scale. Then I'm actually going to weigh the other side with the scale. And then I'll weigh the tongue weight. <clears throat> and add them all up and see what we got. So let's get to work. Okay, here's the first things I'm going to need. I'm going to need a, a jack, a bathroom scale, a beam, which will be that 8 foot 4 by 4 and a couple of blocks, which will be to help the jack and everything uh, lift the trailer. I'm gonna, let me go ahead and set it up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so right there at, uh, at zero feet, I have my jack, I'm gonna lift it up. Over here at three feet is the lift point. And then at eight feet is the scale, and that's going to be the uh, the beam weight, right around 12 pounds. So we'll want to write that down. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to jack it up until that wheel lifts off the ground. Okay, it looks like I see some air. Let's go take a look at the scale. Scale weighs right around 136 pounds or 100, yeah, 138 pounds. So we wanna go write that down, 138 pounds for this side. Okay, so the math will be a little different on this one, but the process will be the same. So down there at zero feet is the jack. Here we have the lift point, but since I don't have as much room on this side, it's at four feet then the scales at four feet. So we'll need to make a count of that when we're doing our equation. So let's see what our beam weight is. It should be the same. It's the same pieces. So our beam weight is the same, 12 pounds. And we'll want to make note of it's at four feet and four feet. So let's go make some notes. And just like the other, we're going to want to uh, lift it until we see some daylight underneath there. And then make note of what the weight on the uh, single bathroom scale is. Okay, I see daylight underneath there. Let's see if the camera shows it. It doesn't really. The scale says just about 165 pounds. So let's go make note of that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is Measure the tongue weight, see what the scale says. Tongue weight is 36 pounds. I don't think that changed. Let's do some math, some algebra. See, it is good for something. So we have <clears throat> two different equations we're gonna do that are gonna be similar. So let's write down our pertinent information. So the tongue weight is 36 pounds. Okay, now that, that concerns me because that's less than it was uh, before. So with that battery and everything back there, I'm a little back heavy. I'm putting a box up front that's going to have some weight in it. So hopefully that'll balance it out a little bit. I'm going to have to figure out what the uh, a proper amount of... Uh, balances because that might be a little a little light in the front okay so tongue weight is 36 the beam weight is 12 pounds okay on the driver's side it weighed 138 pounds 
and that was with zero feet, three feet, and eight feet for the points. On the passenger side, it weighed 165 pounds, and that was with zero feet, four feet, and eight feet for the points. Okay, so we're gonna do two equations. So let's draw a couple lines. We'll walk through them both at the same time since they're almost the same. So up in the top side, we'll do the driver's side first. We have the, the scale weight, which is the 138 minus the 12 pounds for the, uh, for the beam. Let me write beam on here. So we have 138 minus 12. Okay, on the bottom, that's gonna be 165 minus 12. Okay, we're gonna multiply that times the distances between the points. So remember we have the, uh, we have the jack, which is right here. And then we have the distance to the lift point, which is, I'm gonna call that the, the weight, is right here. And then on this end, we had the scale, the bathroom scale. So the jack was at zero feet for all of them. For the top, for the, uh, for the driver's side, it was at three feet and then eight feet. And that was the driver's side. It was at four feet and eight feet for the passenger. Okay, so we need the spaces between them. So between zero and three is three, between three and eight is five. So we have three plus five. And on this one, between zero and four is four, four to eight is four, is four plus four. Okay, then we're going to divide that by the distance between the jack and the weight, the lift point. So on this one, it's three. On this one, it's four. Okay, so we have, let's, let's, uh, let's go through the equations. Well, let's get a better picture of that so you can, if you want to write it down, that's everything. This is for two different beam length or two different lift points off the same beam. Okay. So let's get this back again. Go like that and like that. Okay. So we have 138 pounds minus 12. So that would be 126. So that's 126 times eight divided by three. We'll do that in a minute. Then we have 165 minus 12, so that's 153 times 8 divided by 4. So we're, I'm going to have to write these out. So we have uh, 126 times 8, that's 48, that's 20, that's 8, 9, 10. Okay, so that's 1008, then we have 153 times 8, that's 21, that's 42, that's 8, that's 1221, so let's go 1008 divided by 3. And I'm going to pause here because I'm just going to do this on my calculator. So hold on one second. Okay, so let me fix my math. So uh, 153 times 8 is 1,224, not 1,221. I'm a knucklehead. So anyways, uh, so what this says is that the side of the battery, so we have 306 pounds for the side of the trailer that has no battery, and we have 336 pounds for the side of the trailer that does have the battery. And that battery does weigh a few pounds, so it might be a 30-pound battery. You know, got to weigh 25 pounds at least. 
So we take that 336 and 306, that comes to 342, add, or to uh, 642, add 36 to it, and we have 678 pounds according to the bathroom scale. So almost 700 pounds. And uh, that would make sense because I didn't put on that much wood and the wood was thinner than the other wood. And it was the equivalent of, I don't know, maybe uh, five or six uh, two by fours and a little bit of ply, a sheet of plywood and a battery. Okay. Uh, seems a little light, but that's so what I'll end up doing at some point is when I'm done, I'll calculate what I think it's going to be and then I'll take it to a scale and weigh it and see what it, see how close it comes. So anyways, there you go. Almost 700 pounds.